Testing, testing. Hello, I don't know exactly how I want to start this video, but that's kind of the point. I do know I want to get into it quick. This is Mechabellum. It is a game I really, really want to show you. And I've been wanting to show it to you. And I've had the idea to start showing videos of it to you, um, whoever's watching, <laughs> my audience, whoever, for, uh, for a while now. Um, but as always with me, I tend to get a bit sidetracked and go, oh, you know what would be great? What would be great is making a you know, introduction video to this, with like, oh, I'll make a script for it, and uh, it inevitably becomes this big production in my mind, and it gets hard to get out, and, you know, the, these grand ideas never happen, and then, you know, there, there's no videos, and all, all for months where I could have just been putting out, hey, here's just like a, a simple, you know, live and impossible style video. So you know what, we're gonna do it today. Um, I do not want to sit on the pot on this one anymore. Um, I have to show you all this game, it's fantastic. Um, so we're just gonna do it, as simple as that. Um, Mechabellum. This game is it's easier. I don't want to spend forever just preambling. It's easier to show you um, what this game is. Uh, it's like a strategic auto battler, and the game like emphasis on strategic. Like it's actually a strategic game. A lot of games are in the strategy genre. Um, this game is actually incredibly strategic, and I, I well, it's my own channel. I can swear I fucking love it. It's incredible. So let me give you the basic idea. Um, you, it's a PvP game, um, there's 2v2s, two but 1v1 is the main mode we're going to be playing. Uh, when you start a round, you get to pick between um, these different commanders that have different bonuses, or giant units, uh, you know, don't conceive, suppose mean unlocked. You get a free unit on round 3, who, who cares, you know, I'm going to introduce you to the game briefly, we, who cares about this yet. You pick one of these, you get some starting units that you start with. Oh, and then this is the practice mode where I have to play both sides. <laughs> uh, anyway, and then, you know, your units come in. Um, you, you get to place your starting units that you're given. So, you know, we'll place them like this. Oh, here's some tanks over here. Some infantry over here. You know, sledgehammers and fangs. Place them like this. You have 200 supplies at the start. You get to unlock one type of unit per round. And then you can place, by default, two more units per round. Okay. That's it. You press start. Battle begins. And they go off and they battle each other. It's an auto-battler. So once you get past the deployment phase, the configuration phase, basically, and you get to here, it's just watch and learn, essentially. And really, like, learn. Because this is the part where you're not only really going to enjoy watching the battle, but you're going to see what goes right and what goes wrong. Um, oh, the, you know, these Stormcallers are... These artillery are wrecking my line of tanks and infantry, you know? My marksmen are doing well against their single robots. But are they going to be able to take out the artillery backline before everyone's dead? That kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of unit types, there's a lot of upgrades, a lot of techs and things that make it interesting. It looks like here, um, you know, my, my practice side will just barely win. Yeah. And then at the end when you win, you do damage to the enemy, to their overall health pool, based on how many units you have left. Uh, so in that case, I had... You know, like, two units that cost 100 each or so. So I did, like, 200 damage. Uh, and that's how it is. You keep playing rounds until someone's lost all their health. Um, this is a test round where you have inflated amounts of health. But, um, yeah, that, that's basically it. You get more and more money. The, the amount of money you get each round scales up throughout the rounds. Um, you can upgrade units, level them up when they earn enough experience. You can buy more units, unlock things. Um, at the end of every round, or at the start of every, every new one, I should say, deployment phase, you get to pick from these... Uh, cards, reinforcement cards, where you can get things like, here's a missile strike ability every couple of rounds, your shields are stronger, uh, this unit is cheaper, but worse, that kind of thing. And both sides get access to the exact same things to pick from, so you can kind of counter-read, oh, my opponent took one of these as well. And that's basically it. Um, there's more stuff, like blowing up these things gives you bonuses, but I don't want to go into like the whole nuts and bolts of the entire game all at once here, because what I wanted to do here is just give you a brief kind of understanding of how the game works. Uh, and, and get you into it. There, there is one important rule that I should talk about, the most important rule of Mechabellum, and it's it's awesome. Once you place a unit, it can't be moved again. Um, there are sometimes exceptions to this, with certain things you can buy or get random or, you know, find. There are certain ways around this with some units, like, uh, but, but in general, once you place a unit in this game, it's there. It's stuck there. You cannot redeploy things around. Only newly recruited units can be moved. And this is a critical part of the game, it's what makes it so strategic. Um, and it's what makes it so damn cool. Um, so when you place in your units, you don't go, oh, um, 
you know, oh, my side lost, so I'm just gonna move everything over to the left or to the right, like you're playing Team Fight Tactics or something, you're gonna go, no, okay, I need to shore up my lines, I need to bring in, you know, some tanks to shore up the left side, I need to bring in an arc light crowd control robot to take out the infantry on the, on the other side, you know? You actually have to reinforce and, and think about what you've done and build on it. And as an XCOM player, of course, I love this because it's essentially, um, you know, it, it, it's about dealing with consequences. You don't just wipe the board or flip the table every time something's going wrong. Um, neither can your opponent, really. It's about uh, living with your choices and making the best of them. And I love that. This game is fantastic, and I don't want to sit here doing an explainer the entire time. Hopefully you get basically the idea now. So what I want to do now, I just want to play around. So, I'm going to play around. Alright, we are against Zatho, who has a uh, combat power 646, which is your MMR. Let's see what Zatho has today. I really hope I don't lose in the first round of this I put on YouTube. That would be <laughs> a terrible start. So we have to pick our starting commander. Uh, let's see, Giant Specialist, Fang Phoenix. Uh, there's some nice things here. Aerial Specialist of Marksman Sledgehammer looks good. Let's do that. So my special bonus is air units don't cost any money for me to unlock, as usually they would. Um, and their range is all increased by 10, which is a nice little bonus. They have gone for Supply Specialist, obtain 50 additional supplies per round. That's the only thing that isn't shared between player choices in this, is you get different choices randomly of starting commanders. And they have different health pools subtly, you can see here. They've, their starting units are Steel Balls and Crawlers. I'm not going to explain too much uh, right now, because I need to get ready. So I'm going to show you as we go here. So, Balls are good against my Sledgehammers. Um, crawlers, my sledges have AoE attacks, which, which will be good against the crowds. The bulls have lasers, which will be good against my tanks, but the marksmen are good against them. So what do I need here? I would say my own crowd, so let's get some... I always like to get fang infantry. Um, oh my god, my cats are going crazy. So I'm going to place my infantry to the sides to sc preemptively screen my flanks for future rounds. Uh, my tanks are going to be mixed in. Uh, my tanks are going to be screened by the infantry, and then we're going to have these marksmen, which are like walking Gundam snipers that do big single target damage behind them. Um, and yeah, this is like it. So, uh, I don't know what they're going to buy yet. Um, recording has taken away my powers of prediction. Too busy thinking. They're going to get Mustangs. Okay, now I think I go okay against this. So... Mustangs are like a pretty high numbers, like swarmy vehicle group that has like high speed auto cannons. The infantry are going to screen in front, and the steel balls aren't very good against them with their single target lasers. The sledgehammers are doing AoE damage against the little crawler melee bugs that are coming in against me. Uh, can I hold the line? The tanks are doing okay. They're holding the line decently. I have. With the two snipers on the left, I win. With the one sniper on the right, I'm not killing them quite quick enough. Ugh, I get one more shot off. And they're going to take out my research center. Um, these buildings, when they oh no, they, when they get destroyed, they paralyze your army for about 15 seconds. Um, it basically just cripples your movement speed, damage, everything. Uh, just absolutely destroys it. Uh, and as you can see now, it's going to be way harder to do anything here. They also get XP for killing it, which isn't good, so these steel balls have leveled up really hard in the first round. The only hope is... Ooh! If I can survive long enough for the last few tanks to unparalyze... And turn back right, and now I win. Barely, but I win. I take out these light auto cannon tanks, which fall pretty easily to tanks. That's round one, and that was actually more of a nail-biter <laughs> than you'd even expect. Like I said, I don't want to lose my first round, so... um. Increases melting points HP by 70%. percent we got to pick our reinforcement now. Extended range marksman! Ooh, that's a treat. Let's do that. So my marksman's attack just went down by 20, but range increased by something, like 20. 20% um, down on the attack. Uh, that might come back to bite me with how much health the balls have. But anyway, we need to do something. So we did well. We won on the left of that marksman, but um, not on the right. Didn't have enough firepower there. More marksmen will be good to take the steel balls, but we also wanted to think, what could we do better here? Um... They went crawlers, so having some anti-swarm, like some arc lights, would be really good. Um, probably even better, actually, than anything else I was going to do. I didn't get any level ups. What we're going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to get some arc lights. And I'm going to buy another unit. So down here, 
Let me place these first before I start talking and potentially missing my, my timings here. Um, I gotta look out because I'm gonna get missile spanned as well, but that's alright. We'll make it work. So there's these special abilities down here. Which you can use, um, spend for money each, each round, basically. I'm gonna get missile spammed, it's gonna happen. Um, this one is you spend 50 coin to uh, get to unlock an extra unit. So you get to unlock, uh, sorry, not unlock, get to spawn an extra unit. So you get to do three units instead of um, two. Which I'm gonna use there to place down an extra marksman. Please don't put a missile on me. They put a missile, but it's on the flank. Good. So what else did they buy? They level up their Mustangs and Steel Balls, which is bad. They got more health now and more damage. Whenever you level up a unit in this game, like it's killed enough to get leveled up and you pay for the upgrade, it doubles its health and attack, which isn't great. These lasers are special units where they do low damage at the start, but the longer they stay on the same target, the more damage they, they kind of ramp up to. So they're good against my tanks and especially against big, big units. Oh, I'm getting wiped now on the right. The level ups on these two, uh, yeah, on these two units were really punishing to me there, like... Like seriously, the extra health and, and damage on this force just bro broke through me really hard over there. And now I am gonna lose my first round on YouTube and this is... Well, it's not quite embarrassing, folks, you lose this game all the time, but um... I would've... Uh, Ego-wise, I would've loved to do better. No, we're not done yet. So, they're beating me with the balls. Um, now, I'm in my kind of like YouTube presenter mode, trying to introduce this game to you guys for the first time. So, my, I'm not really thinking as good as I should. So, let me think here for a second. Okay, we're going to upgrade these uh, these sledgehammers. Wait, no, i got to do my reinforcements. They got balls, 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 balls. Actually, I can actually use this. Pick up this barrier for later. I'm going to upgrade these sledgehammers to level 2. At least they're leveling up as well. What do I want here for you? More marksmen could be okay, but it's not the most amazing thing. Can I get can I can I manage to get here some storm callers? Give me some storm callers. Um And then what? They're they're like going harder into crowds, right? No, they've just got the three units of crawlers. I need like more anti more just more anti their damn balls. Let's go another unit of Fang infantry in the front. I really need to get some... I'm gonna do this too, because I'm gonna be a dickhead. Um, what am I gonna do? Hang on, 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 Just place this here. I'm gonna place a consumable missile. You can buy these things, they're like one-time use missiles. Oh, they did one to me! Oh, my entire force is gonna die. I know I've been saying this was gonna happen to me. I haven't done anything about it because I've just needed money for everything else, but I really needed to place a shield for this. Anyway, it'll come in and it'll blow a bunch of stuff up! And my army is really tightly packed, so it's gonna ruin me. I deserve it. For not getting my shield yet, I do deserve it. Over on the left, we're gonna wipe that out easy. Over on the right, my force got pretty much annihilated by those missiles, but at least my Stormcaller artillery wrecks their steel balls. And a lot of their Mustangs before I go down. So now it's just... Can my winning force on the left beat their force that survived on the right? And yes, I think I can. Because taking out their Steel Balls there... This looks familiar to the first round. And even Paralyzed... I should have enough left over here to survive and kill them back. Especially with level 2 Sledgehammers. Sledgehammers are a pretty, pretty tanky medium unit. Uh, you get 5 of them in a squad. Which is pretty numerous. Numerous enough. Um, they don't have a lot of, like, single target damage, but their AoE damage is pretty good. And against these, um, Mustangs, Mustangs are like a, this crowd of autocannon hovercraft. Uh, they're pretty flimsy, so it gets to them pretty good. Anyway, need to get sh uh, missiles down, because this person can win against me by just spamming missiles right now. And shields will protect us from that. Uh, what do I want to pick here? Oh, incendiary bomb. Probably incendiary bomber. Do it. Upgrades. Upgrades. Get that double damage, double health wherever we can. So, now I need to do the thing that I keep saying I'm going to do but then don't do, which is put down shields. Shields are consumable like the missile. They cost 100 instead of 50. Um, and we're going to place one right here because they're going to protect us really nicely from those consumable missiles that come in. Place them like this. I also need to place more units, units, units. So, what else do I want here? Uh, maybe my own crawlers, actually. What did they go? They went... 
What the hell? They, they preemptively took an upgrade on their Mustangs here called Aerial Specialization, Anti-Air, but I don't even have... Air units, do I? Am I stupid? Do I? <laughs> Why did they do that? Are they trying to, like, mind game me out of doing that? Um, I reckon some crawlers of my own could be good here. Just a nice crowd swarm. We're gonna place them further back because they're quite fast, so we don't want them to engage until later. Uh, like, yeah, am I dumb, buddy? Did, did I play a... <laughs> did I play an air unit that I didn't notice? Like, what, what are we, what's going on here? Do I have any techs I can buy here for 100 coin? I do. I can buy armored arc lights. This would actually be pretty good against their mustangs. It'll be, yeah, it'd actually be pretty good. Okay, yeah, buy armored arc lights. I like that. We're gonna buy our own upgrade here, basically, where um, per level you take 60 less damage just flat. So like, oh god, fortresses. Oh, fuck it. Oh god. Anyway, um. So that'll help us against these low damage units, like Mustangs, but not against the balls. Um, missiles come in again, and they're stopped by the shield this time, but now there's this giant fortress mech, which wants to kill me. Uh, we're gonna see how we can go here. The shield's gonna get taken out. Crawlers come in to tie up all of this shit. Uh, over on the left, I'm actually doing much better because my marksmen are just like killing the fortress. On the right, uh, I need to be doing better. I'm kind of holding the line though. Okay, now look at the armor enhancement on the arc light. The Mustangs have a way harder time killing them now. Oh, you need to stop that tower from going down though, fuck! Yes, very nice, the Stormcrawler's just just in time killing the Mustangs to stop that. And look at that arc light fucking tank! <laughs> that is what you want to see. That that one single 100 cost upgrade there just invalidated all those Mustangs and you love to see it. In, in the finest tradition of sports casting, oh, you love to see that. Um... Buy something new. Ion Blast. Mobilize Battleship. Giant Hunter. Smoke Bomb. This is the one I want. I want to get my own Giant out so I can place this barrier item on them. I bought It's only for Giants. Surprised they didn't place their own one on them. I think they forgot. So. Now what? Now we are going to put a Smoke Bomb down. This is a thing that lowers the range of anyone in it. And it actually lasts for two rounds. If there's a shield, um, it won't work. So you want to place it in a spot where a shield won't stop it to begin with. It's like that. Get some more upgrades out while we can. Upgrade his arc lights. Hell yes, that's actually like really useful here. Um, I need to get my own bigger units out. Um, I could go for a fortress like this person, but I think like... Ooh, I could do a melting point. Oh, I think a Vulcan. I really like Vulcans. I'm actually going to put it over here, though. Not on the other side. Uh, and I don't want to put it where the steel ball gets to aggro onto it, because the steel balls will wreck it. Uh, but we'll do it like that. Uh, and then I want to do another shield over here. And then we're going to buy another unit. What could I really use here? I really left it a bit late here. Um, another unit of fangs on the side for more crowd protection. Um, upgrade these guys. And hey, I got an incendiary bomb that I should remember to like place, so I'm going to. I'm going to place it like here. And it's going to do AOE on the grounds over time. Okay, what is there going to do? Another fortress on the right. So these are big single target attack units. I got smoke on the left, I got fire on the right. So the smoke will make the range of these units. Oh, that wasn't well placed. Oh, maybe it will be. Uh, lower, meanwhile on the side, fire is going to burn all of these little mustangs easily. The smoke makes it harder for the fortress to really engage me very close, so they're gonna waste their time on these crawlers. We're wrecking through them on the side. We've destroyed all of their crowd protection here with the Vulcan flamethrower robot. I love these things. And our ranged snipers in the back are just wrecking them. And complete sweep on both sides. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. Maybe I'm not gonna lose my first round. Pitch to YouTube. To be honest, if I lost this round, I was just gonna... <laughs> I was just gonna like do another round and be like, hey guys, this is my first round of Mechabellum. But <laughs> I might not need to. I might not need to lie to you. <laughs> just being honest, you look, you look terrible. Come on. I don't know if I actually would have done that. But anyway, um, increases Fang's attack by 40% and movement speed by 3, but decreases range by 15. I haven't won yet. I haven't won yet. I gotta get one more win here, I think. Um, I like this. I like this. It gives me a lot of extra damage on the Fangs, and I just have to trade out. Oh, no, no, no. But then it'll make them move in front of my tanks too much. Don't do that. I want to stick with my tanks. Uh, let's just go for a free tank production line, I think. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Okay, I'm going to go and take a loan. Because I'm going to go hard this round. I've already kind of waited too long by joking around with you guys. We need to get this done. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Give me another Valken. Over here. Give me another shield. They, they've got an overload. They're, they're, they're new, I think. They forgot to use their colons. Um, which is good for me. Very good for me. Um, buy more things. Quick, buy more things. Um, where's the thing? You know what? Just nuke him, Rico. Where are we going to put this? Um, over here, usually. Right about... There. Alright, this is it. Um, nukes are this thing you can basically call in. I'm not going to walk into that, am I? I hope not. Um, nukes are this thing you can call in. Um, you can spend 400 for the chance to call them in every round. Uh, and, you, you know, you get to use them once every four rounds. If they put a shield up, it'll do nothing. But if this guy isn't putting shields up, this person... Yeah, as long as we can... Oh, this is the big scary thing here. My shield protects from the from the incendiary. So there we go. Even protects from the fire. Hell yeah. All I gotta do is get that shield down. Get that shield down. Get that shield down. It's not gonna come down in time. But my nuke kills everything else they got. Takes up my own shield too. One shield would have stopped that, but I didn't have one. Now I just gotta kill these overlord battleships on the left. And I think I've got enough frontline that my marksmen are gonna do it for me easy. Without a front line to protect it. Uh, where, you know, any, any other army there, my marksman's gonna kill him there. And then my marksmen are gonna kill these overlord battleships over on the left. And I might even have enough... Yeah, I've got enough to just win now, I think. That's gonna be it. Got lots of units, and that is it. GG. You shouldn't type GG when you're the winner. It's bad mannered, I just realized. Why did I do that? I did it because I'm doing a YouTube, and I was like... I want to look good mannered, I'll type GG. So it's bad mannered. When you when you GG and you're the winner, it's just like, okay. The loser is like, oh, I have to GG, I guess. That's me. I I, I hate it when I lose and someone goes GG. It's like, get good, kid. <laughs> I hate it. But uh, but anyway, bad habit. I, I don't usually even type GG. I was just trying to look like not like an inconsiderate hermit recluse in front of the camera. I'm so fake. Um. Anyway, so first round of Echabellum. There you go. I, I didn't lose it. Um... Now, obviously, uh, you know, we only had six rounds there, but you, you guys might have noticed, guys, girls, MBs, that, um, you know, maybe there's some things I could have explained more as we were going. You know, maybe you're still, you know, being like, what's this? What's that? What, what's that? What's happening? What? what? Nukes? Uh, shield item and stuff? That you like, go out and put on a unit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I couldn't explain everything as we went because it's, it's this, like, really cool, like, kind of turn-based auto battler. But at the same time, it's quite intense and action-packed. You know, he hasn't really got an, an APM requirement. Like, you don't have to be fast and agile and, and a twitch reflexer to be good at this game. Um, but, you know, it, it keeps you going. You know, there isn't a ton of downtime either. There's always something to be thinking about, always something to be talking about with other people or, or changing our strategies and stuff, and it's really cool. Um, that, that's why, originally for this game, I was going to be like, hey... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this game on my channel because this game is made for me. I, f I fucking love this game. It's incredible. Uh, you know, it's it's got tactics, multiplayer, strategy, um, PvP, um, all, all the different unit depth. I love the vibe. Um, there's so much to it. So much more than I've even shown you yet. Um, but yeah, like I, I I wrote a script for like a proper video to introduce this to everyone. Like you know, one of my real scripted ones. Uh, and I was like, I'm gonna keep it short so I can get it out, get it out the door, Beagle. And that was like a month or two ago, and it just never... I, it, I just get stuck. Between finishing the script and getting the damn video out, I always get stuck. It's happened over the years a lot with XCOM videos that I wanted to like reignite XCOM on my channel, or other, other games like Battletech and Battle Brothers. I just never got out to you guys, because I was like, well, this game's very confusing. Um, if, I just, if I just cold turkey put live videos of the game on my channel, no one will understand what's going on, so I better do a... You know, a fucking video that never comes out instead to introduce it. And then it just acts as this blocker in the pipeline of my content where I, I shoot myself in the foot. I rely on getting these things out and I never get them out. So it's like, oh, well, I can't do the rest yet. And, and that's foolish. I love this game. And hopefully, even if there's some things that, uh, you know, this, you still didn't quite get watching this as a new viewer. Hopefully my stream of consciousness, com stream of consciousness commentary was enough to get you the kind of vibe, uh, and hopefully, hey, if you watch me play it more, or watch other people play it more, it's an incredible game, um, you'll you'll kind of get the hang of me. I think this game is incredibly fucking cool, it is super unique, it is lightning in a bottle, it is easy to learn but hard to master. Um, I, I, I fucking love it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and go on about it for a million years, suffice to say. I would like to start doing this more often. Um, these rounds are pretty quick. I would like to... 
you know, try doing, uh, as I wake up in the morning in my regular routine after breakfast, I like to just do a video of this a day. Uh, and I hope you'll like to watch it because I want to keep doing it. Um, I, I stream it a lot on my Twitch channel. So if you want to see more of it, come to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Beaks and Jam. I'll link it in the description. And I've been playing it a lot lately. Um, I'm even, I even got done the cast of tournament for lately. It's, it's been kind of cool. Anyway, I'm talking about stuff that doesn't matter right now. If you like this game, I'm going to play more of it. And if you want to get into this game and play it yourself, I am also going to... I, I really want to do stuff on how to be better at it because there's lots of fun tricks. This game has a lot of things that I don't want to quite say are noob traps, but like they do feel intuitive. They're kind of like noob traps. They do feel intuitive to do when you first start playing, but they're not actually good ideas. Um, like th this game may at first seem like counter pick units. This unit beats that unit. It's not about that. It's about having forces counter each other usually. Um, stuff like that. We're not gonna get into it right now because I'm making this video bloat too long and I'm gonna keep it short. I'm also talking very fast because I'm trying to keep it short and I'm excited. But, um, yeah. That's it. I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> I, I love this game. See you later. I hope you like this. Bye-bye.